Peace and blessings, love and light. This is Kim Martin Raymond, host of the How Now podcast, where we talk about how to live in the now. And welcome to day six of the 28 days of Black history. And today we honor Katherine Johnson. Katherine Johnson was a physicist and mathematician who helped launch the first use of the digital electronic computers at NASA, the independent federal government agency that handles aerospace research, aeronautics, and the civilian space program. Her wisdom with numbers and accuracy was so highly regarded that her sign-off was paramount for NASA to modernize itself with digital computers. In the early 1950s, many black women were hired by NASA to work in the guidance and navigation department. Johnson came on board in 1953, a year before the civil rights movement kicked into high gear. She initially worked in a pool of black women tasked to perform math calculations, but it was Johnson who was singled out to work with an all-male flight research team. She helped calculate the orbit for the 1969 Apollo 11 flight to the moon, and it was Johnson who co-authored 26 scientific papers which NASA still links to via its archives. Johnson was a genius. She was a math prodigy who was 14 years old when she graduated from high school and 18 years old when she earned a double degree in math and French from West Virginia State College. She also helped to integrate the graduate school at West Virginia University, where she was one of three black students and the only woman after a Supreme Court ruling. In, 19, in 2015, <laughs> President Barack Obama awarded Johnson the Presidential Medal of Freedom for her pioneering work that led black women to work in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Her story was told in the critically acclaimed movie Hidden Figures, where she was portrayed by Taraji P. Henson. Katherine Johnson passed away on February 24, 2020. Thanks for joining me for day six of the 28 days of Black history. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for day seven. And until I see you the next time, I say peace.